Hello. Good to be back. I am John Beckman, Professor John Beckman, Dr. John Beckman, the father of Sid the Transient, mother of Sin, your hostess with the mostest. Tight green screen in the back. I take my coffee black. Have my brain tied behind my back, just to make it fair. I want to demo how to make a blinking neon sign GIF. So this is the GIF that I made this year in scientific illustration. I like this project. It helps teach somebody how to abstract. It's also fun. It's also a useful tool. So I'd like to show you how I make this. My Botticelli, Birth of Venus, Vegas, Flamingo, Flower Girl. Gummy worms, because it's, because my tummy burns. Mm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a black background. So set up a layer, paint your background black. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a non-pressure sensitive brush. So perhaps the hard round is a, is a good brush to use. The key thing is non-pressure sensitive. Okay, now over top the black layer, set up a new layer. Turn up the smoothing. So at the top of your Photoshop, you see the smoothing tab. This creates, uh, it smooths out your lines. Turn up the smoothing to 100% because whenever you're working with a neon sign, it's theoretically a glass tubes and those glass tubes are very, very smooth. They create very, very smooth lines. So to mimic that, turn up the smoothing 100%. Now, the first thing you can do is just draw some theoretical line. Okay, so this would be in theory, a red neon sign line. And I'm gonna show you how to start simple and then you can do more complicated things. Once you have your line, go layer, Layer style, inner glow. Now you're gonna have to tweak these values. Essentially, essentially you are changing the inside of the line to the outside of the line. What you need to click is the center button. So don't have it clicked as edge, have it clicked as center, okay? And then you need to change the color to match the neon sign, but a lighter version of it. So if it's red, if we're doing a red neon sign, pick like something up here that's like, like a little bit of red in white. Now that's creating this glow, okay? And we could zoom in on this glow so you can see what's happening. And you'll see how these things change. Like this is very, very, if you increase the choke, it's a very, very harsh line. You decrease the choke, it's, it's, not, it's not so harsh. Tweak the size so that it looks, again, so it's not so harsh. Opacity is the, how hard again more okay all these are kind of like varying the harshness of this you want to tweak all these values such that it looks most like a neon sign put noise at the bottom once you have it set that inner glow set okay now let's zoom out see that looks like a pretty good setup for drawing neon signs next thing you need to do is grab a soft round brush Increase the size, set up a layer underneath your neon sign. Turn the opacity on the brush to 33% and draw underneath a glow underneath that line. And now you can change, you can tweak this by tweaking the layer opacity to what you think is the best. And there you have your setup, okay. That's how you start drawing the neon sign. So now draw all your elements to the point where you have them like this. And I would encourage you to separate your different colors onto different layers. Once you have 
all your elements. Now I can show you how to create the blinking effect. So essentially the blinking effect is a GIF. So it's a GIF where you're creating separate frames and you're stringing together those frames. And in each of the different frames, you want to create situations where parts of the neon sign are shut off and parts of the neon sign are turned off. So let me show you how to do that. So if you wanted to save this in an on state, okay, I would flatten the layers. So layer, flatten the image, and then I would save this, save this as something like a TIFF or a JPEG. I would save it as a JPEG or a TIFF, whatever, as a flat layer. And I would make the file something like neon sign on, and then save it, okay? Then you can step back, unmerge your layers. Now let me show you how to shut it off and then save it off so it will blink. Obviously that glow layer in an off state you're gonna shut that glow layer off. Now this, on your neon sign layer, do image, adjustments, desaturate. That's now in an off state. And then I would now save this. I would flatten it. Okay, I would flatten it. Flatten all the layers. And then I would save this as, again, another JPEG with a different file name, something like neon sign off. Okay. So now you know how to shut it off. You know how to turn it on and you save those as separate frames. Now what you need to do is import all those frames into one file. So here on my neon sign, my Botticelli birth Venus sign, I have five different layers. I have all off, all on, a fourth, a fifth, and a third. Let's open these. Now I want to bring all these files into the same file. So I'm just going to drag them in. They should perfectly overlap. See, you shut off the layer and you create this blinking effect. So move them all into the one file. Once you have them all in the same file, you need to strategically align the layers in a way that makes sense to turn the neon sign on. So for example, it'd go from all off, turn the female on, turn the flamingo outfit on, turn the feathers on, turn the clamshell on. That's how I want my neon sign to blink. Now go to window timeline, turn on this timeline. You're gonna use create frame animation. So you just click it. Now it sets up frame animation. I have one, two, three, four, five layers. So I want five frames, okay? Now in each of these frames, you can set the time. So I'm gonna set it to blink for say like 0.5 seconds. And in each of these frames, you can adjust now which layer is on. So in the first frame, I want it all off. Second frame, 0.5 seconds, I want that second layer on. Third frame, 0.5 seconds, I want that third layer on. And see how I'm stacking this up, turning it on progressively. Fourth layer, I want that fourth layer on. Fifth layer, I want everything on. So now I've got a situation where this is gonna loop and blink. Now, the thing you need to set here is you need to set this to forever. That means it's going to loop back and forth and forth forever continuously like a GIF. And if you hit play, you can see what it's going to look like. This is what the GIF is going to look like now, and it's just going to loop forever. Now, the key thing is how to save it. You need to save it properly now. You need to go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Okay. And it's going to open up this tab with some options. Sometimes if your file is very large, you know, GIFs are typically small. If your file is very large, this can take a while. And so what you can do is you can shrink it, make it smaller. Make sure this is set at one of five. So for instance, I have five frames. Make sure it starts at one and it ends at the last frame. Make sure it loops forever. 
and then you can just hit save as and this is going to save it as a gif and then give it a good name and it will save it as a gif and that's how you actually get that's how you actually get this file and then this file can be uploaded to the internet and it will have it'll it'll be like a little movie that's how you make a neon sign have a good day